Right, let's talk cheap balls. <laughs> I can't say that. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe from Memphis Ask Golf. Now, before we get into it, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and also let me know down in the comments below if you've used these before, what you think of them. So, this one, it's all about these. It's the Distance 100 Golf Ball from Inesis. So the ball itself is a two-piece design with a Serlin outer. Now, most high-end balls will have like a urethane outer, which gives it a bit more of a soft feel. Whereas this ball is designed explicitly for distance. That is it. Let's get the obvious out of the way. These are a cheap golf ball. There's no two ways about it. I've actually scoured the internet looking for something cheaper and honestly I couldn't find anything. The next cheapest option is the Slazenger V100 golf ball which you can get on Sports Direct for £6.50 but that is 30% more than these. These cost £4.99 for a dozen which any way you look at it is cheap. It's not a word that I like to use very often but there's no real other word for it. Now the reason they're cheap is because they've been designed with the sole purpose of being good balls for beginners. That's it. They're not a ball for the better player. Let's just get that out of the way now. These are not going to be a ball which you're going to want to use if you're a low handicapper. In fact, so much so that on their website Decathlon actually say basically that these are designed almost to be lost because they know that new golfers don't want to be spending loads of money on balls. That's where these come in. So when I was comparing these out on the course, I actually used second-hand balls to compare them to, mainly because at the end of the day, I wouldn't recommend a new golfer or a beginner golfer who's going to lose a lot of balls buys new golf balls. Even when I first started, I didn't like the idea of buying new golf balls, mainly because of the price. When you look at golf balls, generally speaking, you're looking 15, 20 pounds as you know, a low-end starting point. And I didn't like the idea of paying essentially you know, one pound plus per ball, which is just going to end up in a lake somewhere. What I also didn't like is the idea that getting something really cheap meant that I was losing a lot of performance and probably a lot of feel. So I would basically err uh, towards secondhand bulk buying from somewhere like eBay. So that's what I did. I got a box of balls from eBay, 15 pounds for 30. It was a variety of brands. It was Nike, it was Callaway, it was Titleist, it was Strixon. So the used golf balls were about 50p per ball and this was coming in at just over 40p per ball. So in terms of pricing, very similar. In terms of performance, potentially quite different. So to start off with the distance, off the tee, I was actually pleasantly surprised. When I compared the two, I went with a 4-iron because I know that I can get consistent strike with my 4-iron. Whereas my driver, I mean I could be hitting balls all day and still not hit two similar shots to give kind of similar feedback. So that was two relatively similarly struck shots. I mean, honestly, the inner assist I probably hit a little bit better, but the actual feel from both balls wasn't drastically different. It wasn't as bad as it is when I'm putting, which is interesting. I was actually finding in some cases that I was hitting the distance 100 further than any of the other balls I was testing it against, which to me isn't hugely surprising because at the end of the day this ball is designed for distance. That's pretty much it. I mean it's in the name, so yeah. When it came into the mid-irons, slightly different story. I was starting to see a little bit less performance. And the distance 100 was then kind of struggling to keep up a little bit. Not a huge drop in performance, mind. It was, you know, a couple of yards here and there maybe. When it comes to the short game and around the greens, that's where a better player would really start to dislike this ball. It's hard, it's very hard. It's got a very firm feel to it because of the way it's made this two-piece construction with this Serlin outer and a rubber inner just means that it is a very hard ball. And I was noticing that 
it wouldn't spin. It didn't bite and grab and roll back. It pitched and rolled on because there wasn't a whole lot of spin being generated. Whereas some of the other balls, I was seeing a lot more spin from very similar shots. So then when you get into the really short game, so around the greens or on the greens, that's when you find a really noticeable difference again. The ball itself is so hard, it's like hitting a rock. I mean, off the greens, it's less of an issue, but on the greens, when you're actually putting, the ball is so firm. It meant like I really struggled to get a feel for it because you don't really get a whole lot of feedback from it. It's just solid. That's all it is. So all in all, it's really not a bad ball. It's five pounds for a dozen. I mean, I bought two dozen of these when we came out of lockdown because I was working on some swing changes and I was very aware that I was probably gonna lose a couple of balls. Didn't wanna lose anything nice, so I thought, perfect. And that's the kind of thing that this ball is designed to do. It's designed to be lost. It's designed to give you an adequate amount of performance, but at the same time, it's not gonna give you everything that you need because it's five pounds for a dozen. You can't get that anywhere else. I said at the beginning, I wouldn't generally recommend that new players or beginner golfers buy new golf balls. I'd actually change my mind on that. I would recommend these to beginner golfers because let's face it, there's no issue with having new golf balls in the bag, especially if they're that kind of price. And at the end of the day, even one of the best deals that I could find on eBay still isn't as cheap as these golf balls. Right, that's all from me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you did like the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers guys.